Hey guys, happy Friday. So digging in today, shoring up this um, Psalm 1-3. And I want to read Psalm 35-37. And this is still in the Psalm 1 book, if you want to follow along with us. And it says, Let those who favor my righteous cause and have pleasure in my uprightness shout for joy and be glad and say continually, Let the Lord be magnified who takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. It gives the Lord pleasure when you prosper. We need to take a moment and just think about that. The God of the universe loves to see you succeed. It gives him joy. Well, let's look at that from what we talked about last week in that the vine, um, the fruit identifies the vine. So when you and I are prosperous and what we do is this says, everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. When we are successful and the fruits of our labor are seen, it brings the Father glory. And it points back to him. It identifies us as his children. It identifies him as our source. And it brings him great joy. He takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Now, let's move on from here just a little bit. Of course, sometimes we get frustrated when we don't see these things in our own lives. <laughs> this, I was reading through this, you know, I wrote this book, we put it together almost two years ago, and it's incredible how, um, as I'm reading it, some things are still so very true today, just in, an, in my own life. Um, and I'm learning sometimes hour by hour that as long as we try to work it out on our own, there is going to be a struggle. There will be frustration. There will be exhaustion. And our fruit may not make it to maturity because it's in our own efforts and it's in our own strength. And well, let's just be honest. If we could do it on our own, why do we even need God? You know, our own efforts do not bring the Father any glory. It is our trusting in Him that brings Him glory. But, um... <laughs> I'm working to take, I'm working on taking my hands off of situations that I cannot control and just trust him. Trust that he will not let me fall. Trust that I know my father's voice and I obey his directions. This, this is important. And this is why I wanted to talk about that mustard seed yesterday and the kingdom of God growing and flourishing and, and, and offering provision to others. The enemy your enemy, who is Satan, never wants you to see progress made. He never wants you to see progress. He never wants you to see in the middle of the producing time that God is sustaining you. So he clouds our vision. He brings anxious thoughts and continuously magnifies them in our face. This is where the importance of being established comes into play. If we are established in Jesus, we can recognize the attack of the enemy and tell him no. It's only when we decide to submit ourselves to God and resist the, the lies and deception Satan brings to us that he will flee. We must resist Satan and he will flee. But what I want to really um, focus on today in our, in our last minutes together is that the enemy does not want you to see progress made. He wants to keep your vision like tunnel vision so that you can only see what's going on right here. That you can't see where you came from and you certainly can't see where you're going because you're tail spinning in the middle of, again, this busiest, most productive, most demanding, most difficult season. And so think back to that mustard seed that we talked about yesterday. That is the smallest of smallest seeds yet grows into the largest of all herb, herb trees. I think that's what it says in Mark 4. Let me. Um, yet after it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all garden herbs and puts out large branches so that the birds of the air are able to make nest and dwell in its shade. 
So my encouragement for you today is to stay the course and continue to do what you know to do because he who promised is faithful. If we stay, if we stay, if we stay, we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Um, but if we dig it up, and we hightail it out of here, <laughs> um, you know, uproot ourselves, then we're certainly not going to see the fruits of any labor. But our promise from this psalm is that the blessed one shall be like a tree, firmly planted and tended by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf also shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. That's the promise of the Lord for you, blessed one, for you who meditate on his word, who have chosen to trust the Father, Father, regardless of what things may look like on the outside. And so I'm praying for you that in this time of producing, in this demanding season, that you will find renewed strength, which as, we, as we've looked at this week would be his strength for your strength. And um, we're going to close up here and I'll see y'all tomorrow for our live about nine o'clock. Bye.